हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय यूट्यूब चैनल एम एस मैथ्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक ऑफ द फ्लूड डायनामिक्स दैट इज बेसिकली द कैलविंस सर्कुलेशन थ्योरम एंड विल डिस्कस द कैलविंस मिनिमा मिनिमम एनर्जी थ्योरम सो बेसिकली कैलविंस सर्कुलेशन थ्योरम से इज दैट द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस कैलविन सर्कुलेशन थ्योरम इज बेसिकली द सर्कुलेशन अलॉन्ग एनी क्लोज सर्कुलेशन अलॉन्ग एनी क्लोज पाथ ओके नॉट एनी क्लोज both sorry for that is it is a typo any closed path moving with the fluid is constant moving is the fluid is constant for all time if external forces are conservative and density rho is a function of pressure p so this is the statement it means it says that this is basically the type when i say this gamma is a close this gamma represents the circulation let c be the closed path in moving fluid let gamma be the circulation where q be the velocity of the density of fluid q be the velocity and q be the velocity and uh, basically rho be the density where rho be the density of the fluid now i say the circulation is defined in such a way that if i have a length dr and well velocity is v then the circulation what is the circulation circulation is defined as the integration as the integration of the velocity or the we can say that the change of the velocity with the uh, or sorry the change of the length with velocity okay so this is the integration this is basically the circulation now we have to prove that it is a function of where the density is function of pressure and uh, the circulation along any closed path moving with the fluid is constant it will be the constant this quantity will be the constant if the external forces are conservative so we will prove how we will prove that we have a circulation i say this is my equation number 1 on differentiating equation 1 with respect to t so it will be d gamma by dt is equals to d by dt of close integration q vector dot dr vector okay now we we can write it as uh, basically it will be the partial derivative or basically we can uh, we can differentiate this as uh, d q vector by dt where dr will be remaining or same u into v we can apply and here it will be q d dr dot dt so it will be the gamma or uh, like d gamma by dt now the integration on the closed path c will be it like this d like dq by uh, dt into dr this is the equation of the motion then we can write it as f vector 1 f minus 1 upon rho okay this we have uh, like derived earlierly that 1 upon rho uh, delta p okay it will be delta p into dr this can be written in such a way plus q vector d into dr vector upon dt okay now here we can write in such a way that this is the close integral over c we can write f minus 1 upon rho dv oh sorry dp into dr plus q vector dot dr okay so this is your d by d gamma by dt and it is q vector we can write in such a way that this is my d by d of dr by dt so it can be written in such a way okay now i will write if my force is if my force is conservative force then i can write my f vector is basically the minus of delta into omega okay so this we have used earlierly omega omega is basically the uh, like uh, omega will be the vector quantity it is basically the vorticity vector delta cross Okay, this omega 
represents the delta or basically the curl of q vertical vector so this will be d gamma by dt is equals to the integration over the closed path and i can write this is my delta omega minus 1 upon rho delta p dr plus it will be q vector and what is dr by dt it is basically the velocity so it is dq vector now this quantity can written be can written as minus delta omega minus this can be written as minus delta p by rho in, uh, into dr into dr plus this is the this can be written in such a way that derivative is basically 1 by 2 q vector square okay i can write this if you will if you will differentiate this will you will get the uh, like 2 q and 2 or uh, 2 will be cancel so we can write in such a way or this basically we can uh, like differentiate or sorry we can integrate this one so we'll get this okay now we have this quantity and i can write this is my close integration over the closed path this whole quantity can be written in the form of d so it is my d omega minus dp by rho plus or basically like by multiplying the dr it means the delta into dr is basically can be written as dr okay so in such a way that we can write this is dp by rho plus this will be d 1 by 2 q vector square now i have the term and i can write simply in such a way that if it is a d minus d omega if i will integrate i will get minus omega this will be integration or dp by rho of or basically dp by rho and uh, plus 1 by 2 q square is equals to 0 here this rho can't be written outside the integration because of that this will true the change the rate of change in the circulation will be the constant if it is a uh, rho with the function of p this rho density with the function of p it means it is under the integration it means this whole thing will be zero so d gamma dt will be zero the or where gamma is basically the constant term. it means this or like need not to be constant this whole thing will be constant if it is the constant then this can be written as uh, like this is the constant term or the gamma be the constant if it is a function of p so this is all about the kelvin's circulation theorem okay so now we will proceed to the kelvin's minimum energy theorem or minima theorem so the kelvin's minima theorem says that the kinetic energy of in viscous incompressible fluid the kinetic energy of rotational fluid is less than the kinetic energy of any other kind of flow in the flow region if the forces if the force have the same normal velocity at the boundary this is quite easy to prove it but after the getting the statement so what is the statement that the kinetic energy of in viscous incompressible fluid and the kinetic energy of the irrotational fluid is less than it means that the difference of these both statement or basically we can start with this that uh, for any in viscous fluid and the compressible fluid the kinetic energy is less than the kinetic energy of any other kind of fluid so if fluid is irrotational i say irrotational flow if the fluid flow is a rotational kind then the velocity is q1 vector and the respective kinetic energy is k e1 and uh, the rotational for the rotational flow the velocity is basically the q2 and the respective kinetic energy is k e2 whereas uh, we can define the kinetic energy in such a way that k e1 is nothing but 1 by 2 mv square it means that m can be written as the rho into volume so it will be q1 square into rho to volume and k e2 is basically the 1 by 2 q2 vector into rho into v because of that mass can be written in the density into volume 
here if it is a irrotational then we have or in viscous uh, like incompressible fluid it means that the divergence delta q1 is equals to 0 and also the delta q2 vector is also the 0. If the normal vector we have the one concept is basically the normal vector then if we have the normal vector if n cap is normal vector then n cap is the normal vector then n cap q1 and n cap q2 are normal velocities. So, these are normal velocities. Now, we can conclude in such a way that if we have the difference of the kinetic energy is positive less than or basically we, we will show that the difference of this is higher than any other type of energy. So, it will be positive. So, how can we prove this? So, if I will take the difference E uh, sorry kinetic energy of 2 and kinetic energy 1 is equals to. So, it is basically the 1 by 2 or I can take rho outside this will be the integration over, over the volume like basically the volume integration q2 vector minus uh, q1 vector square into dv on the small volume. So, it can be written as 1 by 2 rho integration v. So, it can be written as q1 minus q1 whole square. It means if I will add 2 q1 q2 subtract 2 q1 q2 it means I want to show it positive. If it is positive then if if the term is a squared term then it is easy to prove the positive. So, I make the I made the basically the complete square here. So, I can try in such a way that if it is my 2 into q1 vector. So, it will be q2 vector minus q1 vector plus it will be q or basically wait 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 just a second I can write in such a that such a way that I will just add uh, 2 q1 q2 minus 2 q1 square plus 2 q2 square it means I will add minus 2 q1 square 2 q2 square. So, if it is basically the q2 square minus q1 square then there should be q1 square minus q1 square ok and plus 2 q1 q2 minus 2 q1 q2. Now, you can see by this term, this term and this term I can make the whole square of the here 1 by 2 rho integration over v it will be q2 vector minus q1 vector whole square and the all the other term like this this can be written in such a way that minus 2 q1 vector square plus 2 q1 q2. Now, why I am doing this because of that if it is a square term then it is easy to prove positive or the difference will be positive ok. So, I can write this is always this is always or this always positive this always positives or then we can write 1 by 2 rho to v. 2 q1 vector or I can take the common from these both it is basically the q2 minus q1 vector or some positive quantity. This can be written as some positive quantity I will not write just q2 minus q1 whole square it is basically the positive quantity. So, if I have q1 is basically the potential function minus delta phi. So, it is 1 by 2 rho over v it is 2 minus delta phi and it is q2 vector minus q1 vector into dv or yeah there is dv also plus some 
positive quantity okay here this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled then it is rho v this will be minus delta phi and q2 minus q1 vector dv plus some positive quantity i can write such a way that rho integration or it is basically the volume integration then rho if it is it doesn't effect basically the delta doesn't effect on q1 q2 vector because these are vector quantity then i can write in such a way phi into q2 vector minus q1 vector dv plus some positive quantity now we have the normal velocity this can be written as this is the volume integration and by the gauss divergence theorem here minus is also here so it will be minus we have the minus by gauss divergence theorem we can convert this volume integration to the some surface integration so it can be written as p or basically the sorry not p rho density and it is the surface integral on uh, where the n cap is the normal and it is phi q q2 vector into q1 vector ds where it is some positive quantity what is this this is basically the positive quantity now in the statement we have given that n cap q2 is equals to n cap q1 it means the normal velocities are equal if normal velocities are equal then i can write rho as n cap or basically i can write phi outside so this will be the phi n cap q2 minus n cap q1 ds plus some positive quantity this will be zero it means that there is only positive quantity where kinetic energy the difference of kinetic energy is always greater than 0 or equal 0 it means ke2 minus ke1 is always greater than equal to 0 so this will always positive so this is if it is positive then it is minimum it means the energy difference the energy difference is minimum to show the minimum it means it is the positive it means it is a greater than zero so this is all about the kinetic uh, sorry kelvin's minimum theorem and kelvin's circulation theorem so i hope you got the concept that what is the concept of the kelvin's theorem and uh, for more videos you can subscribe the channel you can follow my youtube channel and playlist so thank you bye bye